guys reboot gaming here today i'm playing a new game i'm playing roblox i've played this before but i am also playing pilot training flight simulators a new one on the channel and i hope this won't be too long of a video but you never know anyway what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be landing at every single airport in the game yeah there's a lot of airports Lot of airports so i guess let's get started by going to twenty in a plane I'm going to click on airliners well i guess i'll start out with an american triple seven and i'll start by going to all the bigger airports in the game and then i'll work my way down so yeah if i can me into the plane. There we go. So I'm gonna get out to the run. I'm gonna get out to the runway, and then I'll take off. All right, just getting lined up on runway 36 L. There's no air traffic controllers or any other people, so I really don't have to worry about anything. So let's go ahead and take off from Greater Rockford. I will be landing back here probably toward the end of this segment or whatever. Maybe this video is just going to be a series, possibly? I'm not too sure. Anyway, taking off. Let's head over to Cyprus first. And we'll do all of those airports over there. I will be coming back and doing these bigger ones. Like, I'll be doing Airbase Gary and Meller over here on Greater Rockford and Baltic Airfield. I will be doing all the airports, not including the seaplane ones, because I don't have the seaplane game pass. I'm too. I don't want to buy it because I feel like I'm not going to use it. Alright, so the island of Perth, or I mean Cyprus, not Perth, dang it. The island of Cyprus is coming into view, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop to 95 throttle. And then I'm going to keep an eye out for the more runway. I'm not sure where it is. I can't see it. The lights haven't showed up yet, really. Okay, well, based on the mini-map, I'm going to guess it's somewhere right there. I can see the runway just vaguely. I might put, like, an indicator on the screen or something when I edit. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here and try and get lined up better because I keep forgetting that that's like face the other direction than the way you approach from. So let me go ahead and switch to advanced mode so that it'll I'll turn a bit faster. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my flaps on one. I'm going to drop to 85 throttle. Flaps 2. Throttle to 70. And then I'm going to put my gear down. Alright, that's a quick, a pretty good approach. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go under the plane, like this, so that I get a better view. Okay, looks good. Drop the throttle, 40, 40 throttle. Burst thrust. Max, I'm not gonna make this. Oops. Yeah, I'm not gonna make this. I'm 
and then going backwards. Well, it wasn't completely failed. I managed to just get back out of the water somehow. Anyway, I'm going to turn around here and head off to the next destination. And don't worry, I do have infinite fuel turned on. So that way I don't need to worry for this video at least about getting fuel whenever I stop. Because that would be pretty annoying. I'm going to head to the other side of Cyprus now. Because there is another airport on the other side. So that's where I'm going to head off to now. I just hope I won't overshoot the runway this time. I'm already drop at 70 throttle. And then I'll put flaps at max. You're down. Just to be safe. Throttle to 50 here. Maybe go to first person. Okay, we're going back onto the plane. Oh, this is a nice view here. I might actually stick this landing. Alright, need to flat. Like, level out so that I don't smash into the ground. I'm gonna go back out. Alright. Oh, this is, like, good. That was a way too late, though. I mean, I touched down, though. Guess that's good. We'll actually manage to stick the landing. Um, I've already been going for 10 minutes. At least that's what my recording says. Probably not the actual video itself. I'll just do all the major videos or the major airports today. And then I'll do the rest of the airports. Like the smaller ones, I'll do those in the next video. Go ahead and take off. And I'll see you guys when I'm getting ready to land at the next airport. And as I head out over the ocean to Isol Rani, I think that's how you say that or whatever. I, we just pronounce it ISO because it's easier to say. And as I head out over the ocean, it is becoming night, so maybe that'll make it easier to see the runway, maybe it won't, I'm not sure. So, I'm gonna come over this direction. I think that's the runway there? Possibly? I'm not too sure either. Um, actually, I think I might be good. Time to drop two. Yeah, the runway is there. I can see it really well now. Alright. Flaps two. I'm not going to put the gear down yet. Drop to 60 throttle. And begin 
descent and uh, continue descending. I'm gonna go down pretty steep. Pull up. Yeah, I went. Th I had to go down pretty steep there just so that it'd be low enough. Might have been a little too low though. So I'm gonna drop to around 50 throttle. Again, here is down. Yep. Okay. I think I've got this down. I think this is gonna be a pretty decent landing. As you can see, right above where it says landing gear, or gear down, it says land speed. That's how I know that that's that's how I also I know I'm going slow enough that I'll, that when I touch the ground, like when all my landing gear touches the ground, then it'll turn to taxiing. Boom, on the ground. That was a really do that was a really nice landing there. Anyway, I'm gonna pop off. I'm probably gonna go to Perth next. Probably. Alright, here we go, take off. Alright, pull up. There we go. It's a bit shallow, but... Alright, now I'm gonna head out to Perth. Cause... That's probably the next best place to head. Yeah, I will be doing, so based on the recording time, but the time that I'm also going to be cutting out, I'd say at least 20 minutes on the video. So that means I'm probably going to be doing this in multiple parts. I'll probably, I'm going to be doing, most likely I'll be doing small airports next video, and if I have time, I will squeeze in the military ones in there, including the aircraft carrier. But, I don't know, don't quote me on that. If you can quote me on that. I'll probably be doing two to three videos. Anyway, I can already see the runway lights for one of the runways at Perth. There's actually two that create like a tight X. Yeah, there we go. Oh wait, that one, that one is Lukla, that's one of the small ones we'll be landing at in the next video. Flaps at full gear down, because right around this mountain is the airport. Oh, that's a really nice approach there. I'm probably just going to lose all the throttle, because I was going like 400. I'm actually gonna reverse thrust in midair. This is very, very impractical, so don't expect your pilot when next time you fly on a plane, don't expect them to be doing this. But I mean it's a simulator, it doesn't really have to be realistic. Anyway. Don't hit the signs. That was a nice touchdown. I was going way, way, way too fast, though. I touched down about the right time. 
I would say. Alright, so then I will take off. Probably from one of this runway right in front of me here. But I'll take off from the other side so that I can head out to Orenji, which is also known as Tokyo. Alright, here we go. Alright, this will probably be... No, actually it will not be the final, because I've still got to land back at Greater Rockford. Anyway, off to Orangi, which the airport there that we're landing at is called Tokyo. Here is the bottom tip of that one island that sticks out from the bottom. So, that means any minute now we should be seeing Orenji come into view, so I'm going to drop the throttle to 85, I'll put my flaps on halfway. Um, alright, there it is. I can't see it too well, I might highlight it in editing, but I can pretty well see it now. 70... gear down, spin down. No, well, this is not going to be a good approach at all. I'm going to reverse thrust right now. Yeah, this was not good at all. I'm like barely on the ground right now. I'm probably going to overshoot as well if I had to guess. Now it's stalling. Because it never lets me touch down all the way. But I mean I landed, I guess. It was like a terrible landing. But I landed and didn't overshoot like I did the first time. Or not not here at the first airport. Anyway, let me turn around. And we can head back to Greater Rockford. Where we'll take off for the final time, where we'll land for the final time. And this is also me taking off for the final time as well. Anyway, I'm going pretty much straight up right now. And I will turn, pull down, and head out toward Greater Rockford. Alright, so the landform that is Greater Rockford is rolling into view as of right now. And. That is going, and when I land, it's going to conclude our video. Now, you're probably thinking that I forgot about Meller Airport, which I'm not going to do that. I'll actually be using that as my starting and ending point in the next video. I mean, yes, technically it is a big airport because it's got gates, but I'm going to consider it as a smaller airport, and we'll be using that to take off to go to places like Grizovic and South Antonia. And St. Carlos, I mean. Yeah, all those places. Anyway, I should probably be dropping my throttle at this point. Max up my flaps. I'm gonna just turn off the throttle. 
and reverse thrust like I did at Perth. Max out the reverse. There's really nothing else I could do to slow down at this point, so I'm probably gonna overshoot if I had to guess. I'm doing 200 and I can already see the end of the runway, I'm probably gonna overshoot. But anyway, that concludes today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed, this is a bad video, yeah, I haven't made one on my computer in a long time. Why are you going back up? So yeah, that concludes today's video, leave, a, leave some likes, I don't know how many. Leave a like if you enjoyed, I will be making for more PTFS content, something to do with the air traffic control pass that I currently now, that I have. But other than that, that's all for today. Hope to see you guys soon.